Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's interesting topic is palatoglossus. Palatoglossus is a muscle of the soft palate. So this is the palatoglossus. This is a cut section of the oral cavity. This is the roof of oral cavity. Hard palate. This is soft palate. This is the tongue. This is palatoglossus. Very simple. But a little bit trick is there which you can see in this video. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification of the videos. Welcome to Logic Medico. Palatoglossus is a muscle of the soft palate. Okay, as the name suggests, palatoglossus. So it begins from soft palate, right? So soft palate is a muscular curtain covered by mucous membrane. The framework of this is formed by fibrous tissue called as palatine aponeurosis. Palatoglossus mainly is situated in the palate. Ultimately, it comes and gets attached to the lateral border of the tongue. Palatoglossus. It forms the anterior boundary of the tonsillar fossa, where we can see the palatine tonsillar. So it is there within this fold. If you stretch your tongue out and see your oral cavity in a mirror, you can actually make out this fold. Palatoglossal fold of mucous membrane. Within this palatoglossal fold, there will be a muscle with similar name palatoglossus so that is the location of the palatoglossus it's nothing but palatoglossal fold okay so this is a side view of the same thing okay so coming to the origin and insertion of this palatoglossus muscle within this soft palate just now i told you there will be a framework called as palatine aponeurosis so it takes origin from the oral surface of palatine aponeurosis it descends downwards and outwards to get attached to the lateral border of the tongue at the junction between anterior two-third which is called the oral part and the posterior one-third which is called the pharyngeal part i repeat one more time as the name suggests origin is palate insertion is tongue but if you write like that in exam you will not be able to get marks so you should be able to write appropriate words the word is origin is palate which part of the palate palatine aponeurosis which surface oral surface first it has to go to the tongue right tongue is in oral cavity na if it was palato pharyngeus then it would be pharyngeal surface okay but this is palatoglossus that is a logic palatoglossus it has to go to the tongue so it should be oral surface okay as simple as that insertion lateral border of tongue where lateral border of tongue is near the tip huh? or near the base no, near the root no right you have to tell the exact area the exact area is lateral border of tongue at the junction between anterior two-third of the tongue that is the oral part and the posterior one-third of the tongue it's a pharyngeal part so that is the insertion so definitely it is inserted to lateral border of tongue so action of this muscle it pulls the tongue upwards and backwards here the tongue will go upwards and backwards like this so that one wave is created okay here one wave is created so ultimately it closes this isthmus this opening it's called oropharyngeal isthmus you may be wondering what is oropharyngeal isthmus it's just a window between the oral cavity and the oropharynx that window is called as oropharyngeal isthmus so when this palatoglossus pulls this tongue upwards and backwards you can just swallow you can see one wave is there in your tongue huh? so it goes and touches the palate now so at that time the saliva or the food which has gone to oropharynx can it come back to the oral cavity just think when you're swallowing can it come back no right so that is a function of this muscle actually <coughs> this is for marks you can write like this upwards and backwards but actually what it is doing is it's preventing the food from coming back into the <coughs> sorry oral cavity okay so that is the main function of palatoglossus so that it closes the oropharyngeal isthmus. Coming to the nerve supply, all the muscles of the palate are supplied by one nerve, which is that nerve? It is the eleventh cranial nerve or the accessory nerve. Except the tensor valley palate, one muscle will be there, which is closer to the mandible. Okay, that will be supplied by mandibular nerve. It is developed from mandibular arch. This tensor valley palate. Except this muscle, the remaining all muscles of soft palate are supplied by 11th cranial nerve. It is called accessory nerve. Okay. The tongue muscles will be supplied by 12th cranial nerve, hypoglossal nerve, or the 12th cranial nerve. How to remember soft palate? When you open the mouth, it is there in the roof. You write 11 over there. 
tongue when you open the mouth tongue is there in the floor you write 12 over there i'm just talking of the nerve supplying the muscles of soft palate 11th cranial nerve or accessory nerve easiest way to remember and then muscle supplying muscle sub of the tongue supplied by 12th cranial nerve or the hypoglossal nerve so 11 above you can write 12 below you only you will write right right now so 11th cranial nerve supplies muscles of soft palate 12th cranial nerve supplies muscles of tongue with some exceptions that you have to remember <coughs> so in summary palatoglossus located in the palatoglossal fold origin from the palatine aponeurosis with surface oral surface why displacing oral cavity that's why when it is attached to the lateral border of the tongue where the tip or near the root it's in the junction between the two that is anterior two-third and posterior one-third the junction is also called sulcus terminalis okay so it is inserted between the oral part of the tongue and the pharyngeal part of the tongue anterior to the third and posterior one third action it creates a wave in the tongue it puts the tongue upwards and backwards cutting of this this is the oropharyngeal can you see the window now very good excellent oropharyngeal isthmus it closes so what happens the food which has gone into the oropharynx here it can't come back into this place oral cavity that is action what is the nerve supply very interesting soft palate is supplied by accessory nerve what is the number 11th cranial nerve okay action just now it was elevates the tongue towards the palate like a wave like and share this video with your family and friends press the thumbs up button to show that you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get the latest notification of videos thank you once again